Pardon me, uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime, the time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! I say, don't people have jobs? There must be a hole in my pocket. You look like you need a monkey. Excuse me. I have a very fine monkey for you. Only $20 American. Sorry, I don't want a monkey. What do you mean? I don't want a monkey. Why not? Because I don't like monkeys. Now get that filthy beast away from me. Are you insulting my monkey? I'm sure it's a perfectly excellent monkey, but I don't want it. Now please leave. I'm very busy. $10. No. I wouldn't want the dreadful thing even if it were free. Free? You want my children to starve? If they're hungry, I suggest you feed them the monkey. This is a valuable monkey. My wife would kill me if she knew I was offering it to you so cheap. You don't seem to understand. I don't want a monkey. Infidel. I wouldn't give you a rotten fig for that disgusting animal. Are you insulting my monkey? I spit upon your monkey. You are a horrible person. I think the monkey's kind of cute. Huh? Who are you? Good afternoon. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. I have been trained to resist all forms of torture. We'll see about that. Do your worst. Did you enjoy that? Not really. Spare yourself the suffering. Tell me where I can find Volkov and you might walk out of here with clean underpants. Too late for that. That's disgusting. Sorry. This is your last chance, laddie. Tell me where I can find Volkov. I won't ask again. You won't find out from me. You don't even know where he is, do you? Yes, I do. What was I thinking? Why would Dmitri Volkov tell a lackey like you where he was going? Dmitri and I are very close. Very close. Mm-hmm. And I don't appreciate being called a lackey. I work very hard. It's not easy being a criminal, you know. There's a great deal of pressure. Goodbye. Wait, wait, don't go. I don't know where Volkov is. But I do have something you may be interested in. It should only take about 15 minutes to get to the airport. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Excuse me? Not on your life, you scoundrel. I'm an American citizen. We have morals in America. I don't understand what you're talking about. This is unbearable. Pull over this instant. I'd rather walk to the airport than listen to this filth. I thought this was supposed to be a civilized country! What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be watching the front gate? You ran out of cigarettes. You ran out of cigarettes? You mean to tell me you left your post because you needed a cigarette? I was only gone for a few minutes. It only takes a few seconds for someone to sneak in here. I'm sorry. You will be sorry if that girl got in here while you were messing around. Relax, she didn't get in. How do you know? Hassan would have radioed us if he saw her. What if she sneaked past him? That's Hassan's fault, not mine. Idiot! I think Mr. Volkov would disagree with you. Would you like me to tell him? Listen, stay where you are, do not move! Ah! Who is that? Tell it to the worms instead. Good enough in Farline. Do you make love to strangers? Certainly not. 
Then allow me to introduce myself. Why not just introduce yourself to a police officer and spare me the trouble? Who makes up these ghastly code phrases anyway? Someone in the cryptography department. Someone in need of a girlfriend, apparently. What do you have for me? Just this. The entrance is hidden. Thank you. Good luck. Hello. Are you free tonight? A will it cost me? More than you can afford. Why must I be made to say such idiotic things? Never mind that. Just tell me what you have. I was told to say in the basement. Thank you. Tell the person who wrote the code phrase to grow up. Want to come in for a game of Twister? I'd rather run over you with my car. These code phrases have a somewhat confessional tone to them, don't you think? Yeah, now that you mention it. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Can you cook and clean too? No, but I can put you in the hospital if you want. Maybe you can find someone to take care of you there. Maybe. What sort of imbecile says things like this? I'm afraid to find out. By the way, I am supposed to tell you this. Behind the shelf. Thanks. Care for a light? Danke. I seem to have lost my phone number. Can I have yours? I'm in the book. Just look under police department. You're late. Turn it down! How's this? Over? I can't tell! I'm deaf! Proceed with the experiment! Over! You don't have to say over! It's not a radio! I like to say it! Over! Fine! How is the goat? Over! The goat is nervous! How do you think the goat is? You don't have to shout! Over! Can you come down here for a second? Why? Over! I have to tell you something! I don't trust you! I think you're planning to hurt me! Over! I'm not going to hurt you! I just want to tell you a secret! What kind of secret? Over! Ah, good one. About Bettina. Something she said about you. I don't believe you. Over. Suit yourself. What did she say? Over. If you want to know, you have to come down here. This food is terrible. The potato salad is not potato salad, it's covered cheese! Hot. Please be full of hay! Please be full of hay! Hmm. How am I going to get in there? I demand to be let in. I'm sorry. That's impossible. But my girlfriend is inside. I understand that, but they can't let you in. Can I at least go find her? Sadly, no. Why not? Because the club is full. Nobody else is allowed. Well, can you go find her for me? I must stay here. Then can you send someone to find her? Everyone is busy. You will just have to wait. I want to speak to someone in charge. As I said, everyone is busy. If you come back tomorrow after 10 a.m., perhaps you can speak with someone then. But my girlfriend is in there now. Perhaps you should have come together. Then you would not be in this situation, and I would not have to listen to you shouting at me. I'm just getting warmed up. It's not my fault that you're out here and she is in there. It is your fault. She is your girlfriend. 
You should have known better than to ask her to wait for you inside a club that is known to fill up every single night. Can I please just go and find her? I said no, and I meant it. Now go away, or I will call the police. Schweinhund. Scheiß Kopf. Hey, baby. Wanna dance? Excuse me. This is all I have time for this evening. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps I will sing for you later. Perhaps it's just me. But I thought the music was terrible. How can you say that? It's unconventional, certainly. But that's what makes it so... compelling. It's not compelling, it's just bad. Well, what do you know about music, anyway? Maybe it's just too sophisticated for my taste. Personally, I like music that has a melody. How passé. Anyone can sing a melody, but it takes a true artist to defy a melody, especially with such passion and courage. Where are you going? Somewhere else. Oh. This steam. Not without the valve handle. Well, where is the valve handle? Why isn't it here? Mueller took it. Why? As a joke. Where did he put it? I don't know. Where is he? I don't know. Great. When I find him, he's fired. He didn't mean any harm. Hans! Your dog went doo-doo over here! So? It stinks! I'm supposed to patrol this area! What do you want me to do about it? Clean it up! Sure I will. <laughs> we'll see how funny you think it is when you find dog doo-doo on your pillow! I dare you to try it. I just might! You do, and I swear I'll shoot you. Don't threaten me! Then don't put dog doo-doo on my pillow. Demand an explanation. Explanation for why? Heinrich tells me the girl is still alive. Perhaps you did not understand my orders. Your orders? Ha! You don't give me orders. She was to be liquidated. Why did you spare her? I'll not say a countryman without a fair fight. The girl's just doing her job. She's a threat to our operation. I'm sure the director would agree with me. Then, you kill her! Coward! Fatty! Drunk! Fatty! You disgust me! What was that? That's an explosion! Well, let's go. What about the cargo? You're welcome to fetch it, Fatty! As for me, I'm getting off this boat before she sinks. But the operation? We can replace the cargo. And I'm one of a kind, if you take my meaning. The director will not be pleased. Uh, stay here and show your devotion. I'll nail up a commemorative plaque for you in the ladies' room of that wretched nightclub of yours. I can't help it if my beautiful cabaret is infested with big nicks. I've tried to get rid of them, but they're like roaches. Probably because they think you sing like that on purpose. Experimental jazz or some such shite. Clatton. Enough of this jabbering. You're out of my way. Your hideous mask is blocking the bulkhead. Fabulous cigars, Carlisle. Absolutely fabulous. Aren't they? A close personal acquaintance of mine is in the import-export business. Gets them direct from Havana. Care for another? Don't mind if I do. 
After you smoke that one, you really ought to try one of these. Not Cuban, but I challenge you to tell the difference. Shall we turn it into a wager? Jolly good. Smashing. I only wish the commissioner were here to fatten the pot. Here I am. Commissioner, good of you to join us. We're just about to embark on a little bet. Gordon here contends that his non-Cuban cigars will dupe seasoned connoisseurs like us. Rubbish. Here, here. You'll feast upon those words soon enough, old chaps. Frankly, I'd rather smoke them and wash them down with some more of this fine cognac. Isn't it divine? No smashing. <laughs> What's the matter, Commissioner? You look a mite wan. Pale as cheese. Are you quite all right? I'm not sure. On my way here, a big bald chap with an eye patch poked me in the leg with his umbrella. I've been a bit gassy ever since. I say. What a rude fellow! No wonder you're upset. I hope he apologized. Actually, he said au revoir and handed me a lily. Room service. You ordered room service. Get down. You must have been followed. Listen, head for the safe house and grab some scuba gear. I'll arrange for a boat. Right. Any recommendations on how we get out of here? It's you I'm worried about. They know your face. All right. In that case, any recommendations on how I get out of here? Are you afraid of heights? I'm comfortable with anything under cruising altitude. All right then. Head for the roof. They won't expect that. I saw a fire escape in the back. You should be able to get down that way. Try to slip out of here without being seen. I'll do my best. This way. Be careful. She's dangerous. <laughs> I'm not cleaning up this mess. Head for the roof. They won't expect that. I need more beer. She got away. What did you say? I don't think I heard you. She, uh, well, I, uh... Say it! She got away. How is that possible? Perhaps you feel the odds were in her favor. Nein, Fräulein Wagner. Then you're admitting that you failed? Jawohl, Fräulein Wagner. I should be punished. My thoughts exactly. But how shall I punish you? Electrocution would be painful, or perhaps a good beating. But I beg of you, please do not deprive me of the chance to hear you sing. I do not think I could take the pain. Is that so? Then you have just decided your punishment. You will be prohibited from attending my motivational concerts for one week. <laughs> for two weeks. Please, be merciful. I do not find pleasure in hurting you this way. But without proper discipline, this organization would fall to ruin. Kaput! I understand. No singing for two weeks! Waha! On second thought, perhaps that punishment is too inhumane. Let's go with electrocution instead, hm? Jawohl, Fräulein Wagner. Make sure you get the shipping manifest and the captain's log. Oh, 
and if you see a half-empty bottle of Lafroy floating about in my quarters, I'd be much obliged if you'd retrieve it for me. Yes, sir! You disgust me. So? You are a drunk and a coward. You can say what you please about my hobbies and my hygiene, but I swear if you ever cast aspersions on my manhood again, I'll pound you. I'm not a coward. Your threats don't frighten me. A good beating might knock some of that ugly out of you. Care to find out? I will be in my quarters rehearsing. I am not to be disturbed. That's right. It's the rest of us who'll be disturbed, you bloody great banshee. I heard cats in heat that sing prettier than you. Criticism is the refuge of those without the talent or discipline for the pursuit of art. I pity you. And well, you should. You call that belling of yours art. Fart is more like it. Imbecile. Fatty, fatty, fatty. Fatty, fat, fatty, fatty. <laughs> Tails. Heads. Damn it! Ah, oh, don't pout. Your eyes get all small and piggy when you're sulking. How are you planning on getting in there anyway? I'll charm my way in. Well, I hope you brought some secret charm powder or something, otherwise you're in big trouble. I've got better weapons in mind. Like what? You've been staring at them all afternoon. Huh? What's with the extra security? I don't know. There ain't much in the way of valuables lying about. I don't give the orders, I'm just doing my job. Me and Fritzy's been alone on night shift for three months. Not so much as a kitten's come in here. Who's Fritzy? Me dog. Oh. It's true what they say, you know, about dogs being man's best friend and all that. Mm-hmm. Not that I'd turn down a pony, mind ya. What do you think about sheep? Uh, listen, uh, I'd better make my rounds. Righto then. Or a parakeet. Righto then. <laughs> you meet the old man's new secretary? Yes, what's her name? Patricia? Who cares what her name is? I don't want to talk to her. I just want to get to know her. If you take my meaning. Oh, grow up. You're not one of them guys that likes to talk about his feelings and stuff, are you? No, I'm just one of those guys that likes to get to know a girl before I jump in the sack with her. Not me! The less I know, the better. I used to feel that way, when I was 16. Yeah, well that's your problem. There was a guy like you in my old neighborhood. He was pretty tough, till he ended up with a double whammy of syphilis and gonorrhea, with a stubborn case of crabs for dessert. <sighs> Nowadays, I stay away from anything I'm not sure about. That secretary may be cute, but she's got a thing for sailors. I'm not interested. Have you seen anything suspicious? Like what? There's a spy aboard this train. Are you sure? I am. How do you know? I have my sources. That doesn't really answer my question. Let's just say I heard it from a little birdie that someone's been poking around, nosing for information about our obliging engineer friend. Oh, we don't want that information falling into the wrong hands, do we? Well, I haven't seen any spies. If you do, let me know. We don't tolerate spies. I'll keep an eye out. See that you do, moron. Did you say something? What? I could have sworn I just heard you call me a Mormon. Why would I call you a Mormon? I have no idea. Do you have something against Mormons? No. Then why are we having this conversation? I don't know. See you later then. Count on it. Is it just you or is it hot in here? Either way, I think you need a cold shower. Kind of half-wit comes up with these code phrases anyway. 
You can't expect the solution to react without a catalyst. There is a catalyst. That's not the problem. Are you sure your proportions are correct? Positive. I measured everything twice. You included all the ingredients? Yes, yes! Even the sodium nitrate? Oh, damn, I, I forgot about that. Thank God that rocket is finally here. I can't wait to get back to Earth. Really? I kind of like it up here. You're crazy. This place is a drag. Oh, come on, it's not bad once you get used to it. Well, maybe I just haven't gotten used to it. Because I'd rather be locked in an outhouse for a week than spend another day on this floating death trap. Death trap? We've only had six fatalities this month. See what I mean? You've been up here way too long. It's not normal for healthy adults to die off at that rate. Sure it is. No, it's not. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. Oh, who cares? Go back to Earth if you're scared. I plan to. Good! I think I've had a little too much to drink, because you're starting to look good. Excuse me? I'm serious. I think I could fall madly in bed with you. Do you expect to get anywhere with that kind of filth? Come on, sweetheart. Don't be uptight. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> You're about to get slapped, cowboy. Why? Because you obviously need to learn some manners. Why don't you spank me instead? Jelly in your arms. How can I resist you? I want you to know. Yes, please ravage me. Oh, hello. We're we're just uh, doing uh, doing inventory of the uh, <coughs> medical supplies. Ah, uh, yes. I've counted six boxes so far. How about you? I've uh, I've also counted six. <laughs> Well, let's keep counting. Hello, Baroness Dumas. Any sign of trouble? Well, McCoy got into a snowball fight with some kids and somebody hit him in the face. He got a bloody nose. What's your name? Hans Kirschner, at your service. You're fired. Huh? Why? Because if I were to shoot you, it would cause a scene. You take over here. If anybody slips by you, I swear to God, I'll have you frappéed. Yeah, maybe I just heard things. Ah, oh, here comes Miss Fancy Pants again. Maybe I just think I'm hearing things. I'd sooner swallow a kitten than spend money here. I've been practicing my beer drinking all year to prepare for this festival. I want to set a new record. <laughs> I've missed you terribly. Every moment I'm away from you is pure torture. How I've longed to take you in my arms and whisper words of love into your ear. Uh, now, 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 where's that damn socket wrench? <laughs> how, how, how'd this goat get in here? Be on the lookout for Archer. Yes, sir. Battle station, we are under attack. All coffee breaks are here by postponed until the threat has been neutralized. Oh, man. You've won... nothing. Yes, well, you've lost everything, again. Not true, Agent Archer. I still have the satisfaction of knowing that you have failed. But I haven't. 
We have Dr. Schenker, we have the antidote, and most importantly, we have the names of your intended victims. You still have to deliver the list. Which I shall, just as I shall deliver you to prison where you can accustom yourself to a slightly less opulent lifestyle. Ah, oh, what a sweet fantasy. But it's not meant to be, I'm afraid. Know this, little girl. Harm does not die with me. I think you'll survive your wounds. It's not my wounds you should be worried about. Uh. Pardon me. I've got to get everybody off the streets. Inside, hurry! Get off the streets! Get inside, now! Get inside! Get off the streets! Get in, get inside. Get off the streets. Get inside now. I'm sorry I had to deceive you, Kate. Sorry is not good enough. Do you have any idea how devastated I was? I should leave you two alone. I'm sure you've plenty of catching up to do. You certainly looked sad. What do you mean? Well, I was watching when you came to pay your respects. You were spying on me? Not intentionally. I ought to kill you myself. Who's buried here anyway? No one. It's an empty casket. An empty casket? Calm down. Don't run away from me. Come back and take what's coming to you. Kate, please. You're overreacting. I'll show you overreacting, you bastard. 